And we're still seeing some very breezy conditions across the valley. Here's a live look at our DHR Health Cam in Edinburgh. Able to see those palm trees blowing and those American flags blowing there as we are dealing with those gusty winds behind that cold front. Right now in McAllen, 54, Harlingen 55, Brownsville 55. We're expecting clear skies for the rest of today. Those winds expecting to die down in the afternoon hours. But we saw wind gusts up to about 46 miles an hour in some locations. Harlingen, Westlaco topping out at 46 miles an hour. There is another report out of Port Isabel where they actually clocked out at 50 miles an hour. Of course, uh, dealing with those wind speeds, expecting that to die down in the afternoon hours. Those high temps only getting up to about 60 degrees for today. And then back to chilly temperatures in those uh, evening hours. Expecting a very cold night for us as we head into Christmas Day morning. But we do have a warming trend on the way heading into the weekend. Christmas Day will be a little bit warmer. And then we're going to be warming up into the 70s, eventually into the 80s as we head into next Monday and Tuesday. We're expecting our next cold front to move through next Wednesday. That could bring us some slight rain chances. But other than that, not really expecting anything, uh, any rain chances for the unforeseeable future. Dealing with very dry air, we do have that fire weather warning that's currently in effect until 3 p.m. this afternoon. Of course, uh, take some extra precautions if you are planning to burn outside because uh, that dry air mixed with the lack of rain that we have not received could pose some conditions for some uh, fire weather hazards. Looking at those temperatures across the state of Texas, in the 30s still in West Texas, 41 in Midlands, 42 in San Angelo, 51 in Corpus Christi. We're still going to see that cold air start influxing in as we head into overnight hours. It's all replaced by a high pressure system behind that cold front that's going to keep conditions calm and clear for the next seven days. So as we look at the next seven days, we are expecting just to see not really any rain chances, that warming trend to take place. Much of Texas dealing with dry weather. Those winds once again will be out of the south. The next cold front on the way for us as we head into next Monday night into Tuesday morning. That could bring some slight rain chances, but not enough to get us out of that drought condition. This is bad news for Texas because we're not we're seeing increasing drought conditions all across the state. Extreme drought just north of San Antonio, and now we're dealing with extreme drought uh, for conditions for us here across the valley there with that moderate uh, in a place. But looking at that live uh, view there expecting to see that radar and satellites across the area just seeing that cold front very quickly moving off towards the east tonight very cold temperatures are expected we're going to be falling to or under freezing level as we head into the overnight hours lower valley 32 degrees upper valley 31 winds out of the north at 5 to 10 miles an hour these are freezing temps so you might want to take in your pets protect those plants and make sure to check on your neighbors too if they are dealing with uh, elderly neighbors as well for christmas day expect those uh, temperatures to be in the upper 60s, a little bit warmer than today, 59 degrees for the overnight hours as we head into looking at that seven-day forecast. Expect that warming trend to take place for Saturday and Sunday. Very cold conditions once again for tonight and then in the 40s and 50s as we head into next Sunday and Monday. And then warm conditions, topping out at 80 for Tuesday, 20% chance of showers for next Wednesday. Jeremiah?